Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Yasmin and today I'm going to talk you through a slightly slower pace of class, easing you into postures and then keeping you there just a little bit longer to try and relieve some tension, some tightness from the muscles. And we'll finish with a little bit of relaxation at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start seated, seated in a comfortable position for you. So if you get yourself set up and then think about growing nice and tall through the spine. Shifting and adjusting so that you're balanced on both left and right sides of the body. And then see if you can relax the shoulders down. Let's flip those palms and we'll just begin with some circles through the head, through the neck. Dropping chin to chest, ear to shoulder. Keep it super gentle, easing your body in no rush here. And then when you're ready, bring the head back to centre, give the shoulders a roll, take them all the way round, back and down. And then relax. Okay, from where you are, we're going to do some circles. So I want you to think about taking the belly to one side, belly through the middle, across to the second side, and then let the tailbone tuck under as you come all the way around the back. And then change direction, same thing. And then nice and slow, come all the way back to still. Now let's just swap your legs and we'll repeat that process on the second side. So if you had the legs crossed, transition to the other one and then think about taking those circles, same as before. Change direction. And then nice and slowly, coming all the way back to still. We're going to take a little bit of a side stretch and then we'll come over onto all fours. So we need to take your right hand nice and high. Let's flip your left. Take a breath in as you reach the arm up overhead. And then as you breathe out, we're going to come to the side. Now we're going to kind of hold it here. So if this feels okay, there's the option to sink a little bit deeper, maybe even the forearm drawing down towards the ground. And then we're going to focus on the arm that's in the air. You're going to allow it to fold down towards the ground. The chest will rotate to face towards the thigh. And then you're going to lift up and open, press the shoulder back, maybe lift the gaze. Allow it to come down, folding, belly towards thigh, just as far as is comfortable, no pressure. And then lifting up and open. Last one, take it down. Lifting up. And then really stick it to centre, shake it out. Let's do the same on the other side. So we ground down through the palm, we flip and lift. Now try to set yourselves up, so it might be that there's a slight bend in the elbow. Try to find length on both sides of the body. So if you feel really squished, recreate that space and then allow top arm to fold down towards the ground. Doesn't matter where it reaches. Lifting, opening, maybe the gaze rises up and then folding and lowering. Let's do one more of those after this one. And then rise all the way to centre. Okay, let's come over onto all fours. Hands come down, knees come underneath the hips. Set yourselves up with a nice straight line through the spine. So think about the tummy pulling in. Think about the tops of the feet relaxed down on the ground for starters. And then let's soften through the elbows. As you inhale, let your chest come forward. Collarbone presses towards the front of the room. And then as you exhale, round the spine. Arching through the upper back, pressing through the palms. As you inhale, chest comes forward. And as you exhale, arch. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And then nice and slow, coming all the way back to still. Okay, here goes the first of our kind of slightly slower stretches. We're gonna go knees a little bit wider. And we're gonna take a twist. So we need to thread your right arm underneath. So we're gonna float down. Knees have gone wide, the bum presses back towards the heels. And then you can either rest the forehead down, or you could turn your right ear towards the ground. So we're going to pause it here. There's a couple of options with the arm. So your left arm could think about extending forward, or it could just be bent, elbow relaxed, palm resting down. Go with whichever feels more comfortable for you today. Think about the bum sinking towards the heel. Some weight coming through that right shoulder. Tune into the breath. Let's hold it here. Two more.
and then nice and slowly. Let's transition that all the way across to the second side. So raising up, bum stays sunken back towards those heels. This time it's the left shoulder that threads through, the left cheek that rests down to the ground. You've got maybe the right hand resting on the floor or extending further forward. Maybe the eyes are closed. Pause it there, tune into the breath, slow it down. Two more breaths. And then nice and gently uncurl. Walk your hands all the way back to meet you. We're going to draw the knees together and we're going to tuck the toes under. Think about pressing the bum back towards the heels. And then from where you are, hands rise up onto the thighs. You're going to almost massage those thighs as you pad your hands up towards your hip flexors. And then when you're upright, you can release the hands, sink the bum all the way down onto the heels. Think about the spine being nice and tall. So we're stretching out the feet here. Try and get all of the toes down. So if you can feel the pinky toe kind of peeling up and away, press it back down. Spine is nice and long. Take a breath in, reach those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. And then take a breath out, stretch the arms overhead, back and down. Let's try that once more. Breathe in and up. And then take them back and down. Float the palms all the way down to the ground. Find yourselves all fours. Lift the weight out of the feet. Give the ankles a wriggle. And then when you're ready, tuck the toes under, lifting yourselves up and back. Find downward facing. Now in your downward facing dog, go feet hip distance. Give yourself space. Maybe the knees bend deeply, the belly presses back. We let the head be heavy. Maybe there's a little bit of movement through the head here. And then eventually, thinking about padding through the heels so the head can come back to still. And we just gently begin to shift the weight to one leg, pressing one heel down towards the ground. Belly presses back towards that thigh. And then eventually shifting to the second side. Now take your time, let's keep it slow. Slowing down those pads, one heel presses, pause, hold it there, feel the length before you swap. Let's do that a few more times at your own pace working from one leg to the other. Still thinking about the breath, relaxing through the head, long through the arms. And then when you're ready, back to centre, bend the knees, look towards the hands, Float forward, find all fours. Set yourselves that nice straight spine, pull the belly in. And then from where you are, we're gonna find a side stretch. So we're gonna think about taking the knees wide once again, drawing the big toes to touch, pressing the bum back. Now in your side stretch, we're gonna walk those hands across to the right hand side. You're gonna keep your left arm long and then pull your right hand back. Now it might be that lifted through the head is a good enough stretch for you today. If it feels okay, so I want you to allow the head to relax down towards the ground. Start to soften into your variation of child's pose. And the hope here is that you feel a nice long stretch all the way down the left hand side of the body. Maybe even play around with the shoulder here. So you could be pressing the shoulder down towards the ground or finding a little bit of lift as you sink your weight to the right and then press. So it might be moving wiggling from side to side, transitioning the weight from right to left. Or it could be still, forehead resting down towards the ground or even on the ground. I like to have my knees nice and wide in this one so that my belly can rest down in between. There's plenty of space for my hips to open at the same time. It's a strong stretch, pausing here. Two more breaths. And then nice and gently, ease your way up, walk your way through centre, and we'll take that exact same stretch on the second side. So you think about walking the hands across to the left. This time it's the right arm that stays long, the left arm that pulls back. 
Maybe there's movement from side to side. Or maybe we allow the head to sink down towards the ground, pressing down through the right shoulder. Feeling that length all the way down the right hand side of the waist, maybe even into the right hip. through the right shoulder. Let's hold it here. Two more breaths. And then nice and gently ease your way back forward. Spread your fingers, tuck your toes, downward dog. Lift those hips up nice and high. Give your heels a pad stretching out. Okay, we're gonna come into our first lunge. Now just bear in mind, everything is still warming up, so no pressure, listen to your body. We're gonna bring your right leg nice and high, reach it up towards the ceiling, and then we're gonna take it wide. So I want you to think about bending the right knee, taking the knee as far forward as you can to the outside edge of the hand, to the outside edge of the right shoulder, and then placing the foot down. So rather than on a tightrope, one foot behind the other, I want you to let that foot come out wide so that your hands are on the inside. And we're gonna pause here. So we've got the back leg lifted, back heel pressing away. Spine is nice and long. Notice your back knee here. So if the back leg is relaxed, try press, try extend. Feeling the length all the way down the back of the left leg as you extend through the heel. Notice your back. Option to use blocks here, so if the ground feels like a really long way away and you wanted some extra support, you could have your hands on something elevated to give you a bit more space. And then when you're ready, nice and slowly float the left knee down. You can keep toes tucked or untucked, either is fine. And we're just gonna go for a little tiny bit of movement here. So nothing too extreme, sinking the weight back just a touch and forward just a touch. Adjust anything that needs adjusting if it's not working for you today, not feeling comfortable. And then the next time you're forward, we're gonna hold it there. So I want you to allow the hips to sink down now. Toes can be tucked or untucked, as I said before. That foot's nice and wide. If the hips are beginning to open, feeling a little bit more comfortable here, then the option is there for you to think about trying a variation. That could be coming onto the side of the foot if that's the case, your toes are super active, so you're pressing down through the outside edge of the foot, allowing the hips to open just a tiny touch wider. And then nice and slow. Place the foot back down, find your way to center. We're gonna wriggle the foot all the way to the middle of the body. If your lunge is pretty long, you might wanna shorten it a touch, and then we're gonna rise up. So we bring the arms, we lift the chest, we're gonna bend to the elbow, and then think about sinking the hips forward just a tiny bit as you open the chest at the same time. So maybe now feeling that left hip flexor. And at the same time, we're opening the chest, we're lengthening the spine, maybe lifting the gaze. One more breath. Nice and slowly release the hands. Pull the hips back so that the spine is nice and long. Then we're gonna think about floating your left hand down to the ground. Again, the option is there for you to use something to elevate the hand to make this a little bit easier. You can keep the hips pulled back to make it softer. If you sink forward, the stretch is gonna be stronger. So either variation is fine. We're grounding through left hand or left fingertips. And we're gonna think about taking a little bit of a side stretch here. So we let the right arm come up overhead and across the body. So I'm further forward will be more intense. Maybe the gaze lift. One more breath. And release, float the hand down. 
bring the hands forward, tuck the back toes, step it to downward facing dog, give those heels a pad. And then when you're ready, let's think about coming straight to the second side. So finding your downward facing, lifting your left leg nice and high, looking forward, draw the left knee all the way to the outside edge of the left shoulder, left wrist, and then float that foot down. Let the foot go wide rather than in the center. It's shuffled to the outside edge of the mat. We're pressing back through the right heel, nice and straight through the legs. Again, option to find some elevated blocks to assist your stretch. Spine is long, breath is calm. And then let's float back, knee down. Toes can be tucked or untucked, and we find just a little bit of movement here. So nothing too strenuous. Not worrying about finding that full hamstring stretch, just a little bit of extension, and a little bit of allowing the hips to drop down. And then the next time you're forward, we're gonna pause it there. Option to adjust, anything that needs adjusting. And then maybe you're coming onto the outside edge of that left foot. So you're allowing the hips to open in a slightly different motion. Totally optional, you might feel more comfortable with that foot flat to the floor, that's fine too. If you do turn onto the side, then you're keeping the toes active, you're pressing down, spine is long. When you're ready, nice and slowly, grounding through the foot, shifting the foot forward, finding that center line, maybe drawing the foot back a touch so you feel more balanced here, rising up, lift the arms, lift the chest, bend to the elbows, press the chest forward, lift the gaze. And then the further you sink forward, the stronger the stretch will be on that right hip flexor. Toes can be tucked or untucked at the back. Making sure the spine feels comfortable here, no pressure to sink any deeper. And then gently pulling back through the hips, float the hands down. Now thinking about adjusting, get your lunge nice and short to begin with. Right hand floats down. We're going to think about feeling grounded here, wrist and shoulders stacked, so that we can start to open at the chest, reach the right arm overhead, with the option to sink the hips further forward. No pressure here. It might be that we keep the hips back, Forward is just a slight adjustment. Maybe the gaze rises up. Only if that's comfortable for the neck, no pressure. And then nice and slow, float down. Hands to frame the front foot, tuck the toes. Lifting up, let's find down with dog. Get those heels a pad. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach that right leg nice and high, look forward. And as you exhale, we're gonna float the foot down and try and get it all the way towards the top of the mat, placing the foot flat to the floor. Now in your lunge position, I want you to shorten your stance just the tiniest touch, let the back foot come maybe a foot closer, and then try and ground down through your heel. So if your hammies are tight, really bend deeply through your right leg in order to get both those feet down. Rather than on a tightrope, give your feet space so that they're hip distance at least. And then allow your belly to rest on your thigh, your head to relax down, thinking about finding that connection belly on thigh and maintaining. We let the head relax fully. And then the option is there for those of you that feel capable to, think about lengthening the front leg. No pressure if that's too much today, keep it bent. Same option goes here with the yoga blocks. That's gonna make the stretch a lot softer if you add some height to rest those hands on. If the hands don't meet the ground, just rest the hands wherever they do reach. Head stays heavy, breath stays calm. Thinking about the extension of that right leg, thinking about the hips being nice and square. Slowing down the breath, pausing in your intense forward fold stretch. Again, slowing it down here in this posture, make it manageable, bend the right knee as much as you need. One more breath. 
and then just a very slight adjustment. Bend deeply through the right, look forward, step the left foot maybe half a foot further forward. Heel comes back down, same again, belly on thigh, head heavy, relax, maybe extend. No pressure, check the hips, so try your hardest to avoid the left hip pressing back. We're going to try and get those pelvises facing forward nice and square. No pressure if there's a deep bend through this right leg, all good. One more breath. Rebend, look forward. Step that foot just a tiny touch closer, one final time. Both heels grounded, folding down, belly towards thigh. Always remember to soften that right knee as much as you need. Head heavy, breath calm. And then slight variation in this one. I want you to soften the left knee. Think about flexing the right foot and lifting those toes towards you. So again, no pressure for the hands to be on the ground. They could be on blocks or resting on the shin. And here, I want you to think about either the belly resting on the thigh and the head being heavy, or if this is just so intense and your belly is a really long way away, it's much better for your back to be flat rather than rounded and arched super high. So you're trying to extend all the way down the back body. And by rounding, we take a lot of that way. So we try and tilt at the pelvis to get that straight line all the way down. And then when you're ready, ground down through both feet, deep bend through the knees. Left foot's gonna step all the way out behind and we pause in a forward fold. So rather than feet together, you're gonna stagger those feet, try to get both feet flat to the floor, knees bend, belly rests on both thighs, head heavy. And then the option is there for those of you who want to, to think about lengthening the legs, even if just a tiny touch. Maybe just the back one, or maybe both. Maybe both stay bent, no right or wrong here. And then soften, uncurl, keep the legs crossed as you come up to a stand. Now make sure you feel stable here, adjust if you're feeling wobbly. And then we're gonna go for a side stretch. Right hand rests on right thigh, left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in, and then as you breathe out, we're gonna glide to the side. Left arm comes overhead. Keep space on this inside edge of the waist. Think about your breath. And release, unravel, unstep, shake it out. Let's even you out. So we're gonna take a forward fold, breath in, reach up. Breath out, fold it down, knees can bend. Breath in, step or hop, take it to downward dog. Breath out, check in. This time, breath in, left leg goes high. Breath out, place it down, it's coming towards the top of the mat. Now adjust. We're going to step the back foot in so that you can get both those heels down. Bend the left knee as much as you need. We're going to be hip distance rather than on a tightrope, just so that we feel nice and balanced here. Belly connects to the thigh. So again, if it's really tense and you're uplifted, you're a long way away, bend more. Everyone should be able to get their belly on their thigh. It's just a case of what needs to adjust in order to get it there. Let the head hang heavy. Slow the breath. Maybe you can start to think about lengthening through the left leg. Maybe it's not straight, that's totally fine. Press the right hip forward. Think about the hips being nice and square at the back there. Hands rest wherever you need, no pressure. Find your breath. And then when you're ready, look forward. Bend through the left knee, step it forward just a touch, heel flat to the floor, belly rests on the thigh, head down, maybe you can extend. No pressure. Check the hips, breath is calm. Last one, look forward, 
Soften the left knee, step that right foot a tiny touch closer. And then maybe there's a bit of extension through that left leg. Belly to thigh, head heavy. And then slight variation here, we're going to bend through that back knee. So bending the right knee, we're going to try to lift the toes. Doesn't matter if those hands aren't on the ground. Find that length, find your balance. Or is it there? And then ground down, ground down through both feet. You're going to step that right foot behind, knees are soft, feet are still staggered here, grounding, bending, belly on thigh, head heavy. Adjust as much as you need so you feel stable and then we're going to think about maybe extending the back leg, maybe extending both legs. Again, if the belly is lifting a huge amount away, rebend, reconnect, relax the head, and then maybe there's just a small amount of extension rather than such an extreme one. Rebend at the knee, uncurl, take your time, come all the way up, find your balance. This time, left hand is down, right hand is up, spine is long, take a breath in. And as we breathe out, we're going to stretch it to the side. Try for length on that left-hand side of the body as well as the right. One more breath. And then release. Bring it back to centre. Step the feet apart. Step the feet nice and wide. Take a big stance. And then we're going to take a wide leg forward fold. So we rest the hands on the hips. Spine is long. Take a breath in. And then take it halfway, breathe out. Think about the bum out behind you, the back nice and straight. Hold it there. So hopefully you're feeling some length down the backs of the legs. Finding your balance, maybe lifting the knees up towards the thighs for extra support. And then gently softening through the knees, float the palms down. We're just going to find a little bit of movement from side to side. So the more you bend, the easier it will be to get those hands down. And then when you're ready, find stillness. You might even shorten the distance between your legs just a tiny touch. We're going to walk both hands across to the right hand side. And then we're going to soften the right knee. Think about taking opposite hand to ankle and then bending strongly through the elbow to find a rotation. So you're pulling to create resistance. And then the option is there to reach that right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Right leg is bent, right arm extends, and the left is helping you with that rotation. Left leg is nice and long. And then let's think about switching sides, palms down, float through centre, re-bend through the knees, even yourselves out, walk those hands across to the second side. Think about bending through the knee, reaching opposite hand to ankle or shin, wherever you can reach, and then create that rotation by pulling through the chest and reaching left arm nice and high. Maybe the gaze rises up nice and high too. Right leg is long. Left leg deeply bent. And release. Float down. Straighten through the legs, soften through the knees, shuffle the feet together, and then bring yourselves all the way to a sit. Soft knees as you lower down. When you come to the ground, we're going to think about bringing the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall out nice and wide, and then lower all the way down onto your back. Spine is long, breath is calm, ease your way down. Try to use those tummy muscles to help with your descent. Now when you get down there, interlace the fingers, place the hands underneath the head, elbows fall out wide. Let's see if the heels can come any closer towards the bum. Let's see if gravity can help us open up those hips here in this passive stretch. So we're just allowing gravity to open up the hips and the shoulders, allow the head to be heavy. Start to think about slowing your breath right down. Try to find some length in both your inhale and your exhale. 
Every time you breathe in, allow the breath to float all the way up towards the top of the chest. Feel the expansion in the lungs, in the rib cage. And every time you exhale, let the breath flow all the way down towards the bottom of the belly. Feeling some lightness, some space as you breathe in. And feeling a sense of releasing and relaxing as you breathe out. Try to let go of any tension, any tightness. And we'll give ourselves time for the mind, the body to completely relax and replenish. To tune into a slower pace of breath. As you pause here, just notice what your body might need from you today. Any areas of tension, tightness that could do with just a little bit more attention. and slowly release the hands, draw the knees back together, draw the knees in towards the belly and draw big circles with those knees. And then change the direction, same thing all the way. When you're ready, place the soles of the feet to the ground, feet out as wide as the mat, arms out wide and we let the knees fall from side to side, windscreen wiper those legs. And then slowly, gently bringing yourselves up to a seat. Nice and long spine, get the shoulders a roll down the back. Close the eyes, take a deep breath in. And one big sigh out. <sighs> Try to let go of any tension, any tightness. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Have a lovely day. Namaste.